All right, well, this seems... Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the Sky Bravo Show. Construction Co. Building and voxels. Testing out a stream. Uh, going to fly around here in um, check out uh, Kronos and check out what Twitch is uh, what's going on with Twitch Twitchy McTwitch and what's going on with Tom Tom <clears throat> I noticed that there wasn't much streaming content on voxels and really wanted to just I don't know Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? <laughs> Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? But we're just flying through here right now. CryptoVoxels is a virtual world built on the Ethereum blockchain. If you don't know, now you know. And uh, so all of these um, parcels are um, places that are in a whole larger world. We can kind of go up here in this little area and we can look and see what the parcel page is, we can see Explorer. That's what I was looking for. Because what we're looking for, the character's name is Tom Tom, and we have just become residents in Kronos. Kronos is a really cool concept island here in Voxels. Don't let the crypto scare you away. Ah. They sure didn't. They changed it to voxels.com. So you can log in with an email or you can just be an anonymous person floating around without a cool TomTom -tom head or an on-chain chain. But that's up to you. So I'll tell you a little bit about Kronos. I'll tell you a little bit about the uh, Sky Bravo Show Construction Co. And uh, this is a public works in progress. Uh, you're watching it right now. You are currently in the process. And if you would like to contact uh, Twitter, um, Sky Bravo Show, Sky Bravo Show. Um, I love Geekmyth. Geekmyth is my neighbor right here. And we are aliens together. And it's super fun. All right, flying around. Okay, so I'll tell you a little bit about why all of this has got crazy stripes on it. And... Um, I got some other videos that I will share um, that are previously recorded, but testing out the live stream right now about the grid system. And one thing that I've found in this world, there's a lot of empty uh, spaces either that are um, you know uh, that are owned by people or that are you know not currently on the market or are on the market. You know. Um, but there are, it is cool when things look like this and people know, know how to build. Because sometimes people want to get into the world and don't know exactly what to do and don't know exactly how to uh, build. So that's sort of, I'm going to share my journey. I'm not the most super duper builder that has ever lived. Um, uh, but uh, I'm going to try to help you to be. We're going backwards, what the heck? How did that happen? Okay, cool. We're flying. So in voxels, you press F to fly. Boom. And if you wanted to join right now in this world, it would be really cool. Um, it would be cool. I don't know. You would go to voxels.com. I'm going to already be logged into here. Um, but uh, so you would go to that explorer. You would search. Tom Tom. And sometimes I just automatically refresh. This technology is super new, but hey, check that out. This is pretty neat, actually, because what you're seeing is real time, you know, just like a game engine, um, except for it's just in a web page. And uh, although both Tom Toms are holding swords, there is no. Uh, harm intent. It's just sort of like uh, I don't know, someone someone gave this to me. It's a voxel model that you can make in Magic Voxel. I'm sure there's other programs to do that as well, but I'm not 
knowledgeable about them and honestly um, the the Tom Tom head this this alien here our friend is um, you know this is a very advanced for me so I just like flat so which is why the grid system and why I've been working on the grid system see and if you're not there you just kind of disappear oh whoa there's a there's another window open perhaps somewhere or this is just needs a refresh and that will disappear but sometimes you'll get oh you know you never know sometimes you'll get little ghosts of yourself uh popping up in there um and it's a little fun and then you can take a little selfie with yourself sometimes i like to do that and in order to do that, it's not just simply a screenshot. What you do is you can go down here to photo, and it's called a womp. Um, and ooh, you can take the womp and you say, Tom, 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 Towers. Uh, it's a public broadcast, which means it'll display on the homepage, personal pages, and uh, it'll notify everyone in the world. If I was on another window, it just pops up super huge and makes noise. Um, or you can just put it on your profile, um, uh, which will, if someone clicks on you uh, in the world, then they can see it, or if they know how to find you, whatever. But Tom, 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 Tom Towers, these are Tom, Tom Towers, and there's two Tom, Tom, so that's how many Tom, 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 Tom Towers. I think that's all right, so we just post it, see if it makes noise. And then look. If anybody else is in the world, which let's see, so there's, you know, there's a handful of people, six online, dang, I'm two of them, so incredibly underutilized resource, I think it's um, super fun, whoa, uh-oh, okay, cool, sometimes you just got a hard refresh, and uh, either it's an underutilized resource or someone's a fool. You know, I think it's really a great tool um, for uh, for three D uh, visualization for uh, building and for creating cool art installation. I'll show you an art installation. I'll follow you through. Let's explore. I'll get to a lot. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. There. Let's see. Which, um, library. I'll fly you through. One reason why I really enjoy using this hard refresh. Some days are like that. So, this is a gallery that uh, I've created over time and you can do a lot of really cool stuff to display your artwork and provide an immersive experience. There's a lot of VR capabilities that seem to be coming in worlds uh, like this that are um, pretty cool and in this world and uh, in our world and I've been in VR in, in this and it's Quite mind blowing um, to be able to create in pretty high fidelity and also have some fun with uh, with creating a character. I think is really really cool. So this is a stream which, if you wanted to watch it, you could come to the Nether Yonder OG main stage, which you see right here. Um, may or may not be loading right now. Oh, there it goes. So, and then watch things if they're live. Oh, you know, I could actually, this would be pretty trippy, and um, it's going to be, because what I'm about to do is give you a little demonstration of, oh, no, I'm going, I think I want to just,
Let's see if this. So, oh my gosh. So. Oh my gosh. So. Now, perhaps it will say I'm playing for one person, but I think this is kind of neat. And we're streaming into the portal. Neat. Neat, neat, neat. And you can just pop that up kind of anywhere. Hard to refresh. Replicate this and pop it up. Just kind of over here, yonder. Mm, rotate it one. No, no, no. 90. There you go. And going to advanced here, we can auto play it. So now, if you were to fly over here. Refresh. New technology. It loads as it does. And let's see if this autoplay does work. So, yeah, see? So, pretty cool use case right there. Just to live stream right in there. And I really enjoy that piece of it and enjoy the, um, the ability to, again, provide this immersive e experience. We had some very cool uh, event here called Work in Progress just last week. Mm, yeah, like a week and a half ago. And, you know, just having people in here and sharing the artwork. Really nice experience. And I'm gonna drink a little sip of water. Hmm. That's what drinking water is like. So <clears throat> I think that one reason why I looked and there's just not very many people who have streamed doing this. Like really computers are just here's another here's a music video. Hi. I'm Sky Bravo. Hi, I'm Sky Bravo. Ugh. I wrote this song for my son. I wrote this song for my son. So this is uh, um this is a music video that you can watch here. And then here's another music video up here for Empty Mind. This is all I was really upset because I couldn't write a song. I felt like I've been staring at a blank page for a really long time. I was really frustrated. And so with words of that are, hey, what can, you, what can you do with an empty mind? It's like, go with that feeling. Don't deny those words, even if the words are, I'm empty, I'm empty, I'm empty. You made something with your feelings. So I get that. You had a feeling, you turned it into words. Is that art? Is that art? The song's called Empty Mind. So this is pretty neat. Just to be able to share it here. In this way, it's kind of just like a bizarro. Hey. I can just go with an empty mind. What can I say? Would you be so kind? Frustration can rise until you take that eye. Wow, this thing makes some noise. Uh, so the audio reactive, I guess I probably shouldn't have moved. Um, might need a hard reset. So there's different ways that you can um, that, that you can interact with uh, with this. 
And for instance, this is a Dropbox file right here. And um, that is, uh, this is a YouTube, right? That the Twitch. And right. And, and sometimes this is about breaking stuff. This is about breaking stuff. Sometimes this is about breaking stuff. Sometimes, sometimes this is about breaking stuff. Breaking stuff. Sometimes this is about breaking stuff. Sometimes this is about breaking stuff. Right? It's new technology. So. Um, ooh, right, so sometimes it's about breaking stuff. Speaking of breaking stuff, this is the glitch wall, and this is the extension to Based Beauty. Based Beauty. Based Beauty. Boom, in there. And, um, so one thing that you may notice is it's not moving, right? Like some of these other things over here are moving, but... Um, the walls aren't moving, but then suddenly they are. These walls are reactive. They are exploiting a glitch um, with overlay here in crypto voxels, where sometimes if things are on the same layer and you aren't careful with how you are uh, overlapping them, it can cause a little bit of glitch. Like I'm sure at some point on along this kind of water that I've made up that is not in game like right like that happens sometimes in 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 the world and it's like it should be fixed you know those things i can fix it it's uh you know it can be fixed it's like uh that's on a thing or it's on a different layer um but i want to talk about this so this if it's on the same layer and you're working with glitch art and kind of enhance that in a cool way i think there's no place on earth that I, I can think of where you can have this kind of experience where your vision glitches out the environment is there i think this is a novelty this feels like a novelty it feels like something that's cool and as far as glitch art goes, <clears throat> um, yeah, I think it's, I think it's super uh, cool idea for, for glitch art. You can kind of go in it too, glitch out within the glitch. You're in the glitch now. You've become the glitch. You are the glitch. You are the glitch. That's kind of like what the experience here is like because sometimes things glitch out sometimes things don't work some days things are all kind of weird and spinny some days you're in the muck and you're like oh don't go in there you can't make art in here but the thing about something being at sort of the bleeding edge of technology or the bleeding edge of somebody's brain is that you can figure out how to break the rules um as long as and then you can build glitch walls sort of underwater and have cool like underwater viewing of poems if you go like mm, mm, I realize in a moment <clears throat> I realize in a moment the reply I replied was not the reply I thought I had replied oh, I think there's a different version of this it's a, you know it's hard to read honestly I think there's one in this wall too yeah there you go i realized in a moment the reply i replied was not the reply i thought i had replied looking back last saturday came today thursday since then a week has passed with me wondering when the message would come the reply i sought sat alone and waiting to a funny thing these things this technology is not perfect man but so I'm going to move that to somewhere else. <clears throat> so, that <coughs> I changed... I'm going to drink some water. So, I changed the... 
the back wall here of um you can change all of these textures these textures are i can go back and just paint this background different just kind of like minecraft i've never played minecraft but i'm pretty sure like this ish if you play minecraft please don't hate me um if you play minecraft maybe you would like this this is it seems pretty fun um But this is drink water 2023. Wow, so prescient. Because I wrote that, um, wrote that poem about this technology not being perfect. You know, probably like ten years ago. And then here I am, making things fly through walls as I drink water in 2023. So this is sort of an alien abduction, like just like a magnet just bringing the people in you know and then you get up here we did a quite a bit of party um did some dancing you can kind of dance with g there was a if you press g you can do a spin move or whatever and then there's somebody playing music through discord and broadcasting that which was pretty cool and it's sort of like having a background. If you have two monitors, you have like sort of a screensaver. And your friends are hanging out inside the screensaver um, while you're doing your other things, uh, like listening to this podcast. It's a, it's a kind of a weird thing. I don't know. You press F to fall um, or F to fly. And then you got to stop. You, you got to tell it to stop dancing sometimes. Or just go in. Let's see. C. C makes you go in. So that's how you. That's how it kind of works. Um, just super super basic. So, but a lot of stuff is just drag and drop. Like there's a GIF or a GIF depending on who you love. Um. What kind of life you lead. I'll let you decide which is the correct way and which is the evil way. GIF or GIF? I'm not really sure. Um, so that is, you know, did you know what, do you know what the original intent was with that? Hmm. I bet I could look it up. Hmm. Not going to. So, and then you can do all sorts of stuff. Like here's just an experiment. Where the hell is my where the hell's my, my glitch tom? No. Rebrush. Uh, that's not the glitch tom, that's the glitch tom, right? So made this graffiti wall in the style of Banksy with like some superheroes and a like cryptocurrency something, I don't know. Um I don't, I don't know how this guy sort of looks like sometimes. I don't know. Did, is that just me? I'm not sure. It makes it, it definitely makes it weird, you know? It's like, oh, all these superheroes, and like, why? It makes you think, like, what does it make you think? That's sort of the essence of Banksy, huh, isn't it? So, it, yeah, uh, but I also drag and dropped another thing on top of this. And then I went to this advanced thing, and I went to what, instead of having it just be, hmm, uh, not blended background, but this is like, right, that's how you see it on the computer. But if you want to, you can go to this, multiply, and it's somewhere opacity settings to Photoshop or um, you know anything Adobe which look let's be honest there's like 38 settings and nobody knows what any of them do you just go through and you click every single one until it's the right thing and that is the strategy that sometimes is very helpful to use right here in voxels just pretend like you don't know how to use Photoshop 
and you have to remember how to use it every time. And these cubes are really cool. You can make these cubes um, just very easily by saying add and then cube. And then you just click right there and then you can upload whatever you want to it. Um, look, uh, you can upload a still image or you can, up I don't think you can upload video. I think video is too much for this, but you can upload a pretty decently sizable GIF, GIF. Um, this one is, the character is called Papa. And you know what? It makes me really think that I super need, instead of a duck, I need Papa to be flying around. Like that's where Papa goes. Boom, right there. Boom, boom, right there. Someone gave me that duck. So the community is super cool in the space when people come in for events. Hello, hello again, old friend. It's just like this. Hello again, old friend. A blue note on a morning breeze. I'm about to go home, but just before home came to me. So lots of poems. Oh, there's like a, a politically correct Jesus. Happy holidays. Uh, uh, open for interpretation. Okay, okay, cool. So there's a lot of different sorts of art and different ways that you can display that art on here, including having like a space where you can. I really think this is cool. So I don't know if you've ever seen like an art piece that has like a giant pile of televisions. It's something that I've always wanted to do. Um, and I think this is a kind of a cool 3D way to explore that idea. And if I made, I could also like make a television out of voxel things and put those things inside if I wanted to, or create some sort of display with AI and then put that inside a television if I wanted to do that. But for right now, this is pretty cool to me to look at this poem. Love, love, love. Oh, this is cool. Milky Way rides at night. So, so Milky Way is the district here. We're on the island of Andromeda. Voxels is made up of so many islands. Um, let's see. I don't even get. Let's just go to the super. Explore. It is this back end here. You gotta. It's like a, a you know kind of Reddit or I don't not really on Reddit or Craigslist or. You gotta get used to it, for sure. So what was I looking at? I was gonna look at the big map. But map. So. I'm just getting a phone call. Hmm. Not sure. So this is Origin City, and I don't want to make that go away, so it just stays there. And there's a lot of islands around here. The island that we were just on is way over here. Not really flyable. You gotta kind of go to the map. I mean, I have personally flown it. Oh look. They've reinvigorated this map. How glorious. So look, you can you can see. You can see. You can see which ones and oh. And look, this teleport button back. Now I wonder if this has always been right here. And it's been kind of hidden, and I haven't been able to do anything. But we've also got some. What is this? We can build in here. Oh, here's a little. So, this is something that is interesting for sure. Ooh, it's a waterfront. Let's see. So, 
So this is just something that sometimes they do. If they have a parcel left over, which this one's really awesome and no one's got their eye on it. And it's huge. It's super huge and it's got a basement. It's a waterfront one with a basement and I'm just, nobody has just ever done anything with it at all except this. So I'm about to bookmark this spot and yeah, this is nice. Maybe we'll build on here someday. And if I would have noticed this earlier, I would have probably been all about it. But this is something that they are really pushing on the island of Kronos, which I don't actually know where Kronos is on this gigantic map, but I think I just saw it over here. So look, I got some spots over here, and then I got some spots over here, which this is one thing about Kronos that I did not quite realize, and I almost don't even want to tell you, because these ones are part of the Kronos project are like these towers are going to be fantastic really really cool I've started gridding them out which I don't even know if I've tried to tell you about the grid system I've I've, I've attempted um either on this video or another one but it just helps look it helps to be able to see and um wait, what, what is actually being built and where floors should go and you know how you can kind of get avant-garde with things um and i think that that's pretty cool and let's see um so what's really cool is these are um okay, like these are my own parcels and no you know I'm the person who can build on them and i can grant whatever, um, you know, if people, uh, are like Rashad maybe would build on here, or Gabe might build on here, um, but, but this, all of this stuff that's pink with the ground is editable by anybody who is in spring, which Kronos is super dope island, it's got this skybox, which kind of is a cool differentiator, you can see right here, this goes from spring to winter. So we're going to go back in time. And winter, it's got a different sky. And we'll just kind of go around. This is autumn. Autumn is orange. And it's got this blue. And then we'll get into summer. And summer has got this green theme. And I just love the reflection of the water. And I feel like that they said something about that the the, um, the canal areas being editable by the community. Uh, you know, if you if you have a parcel in there, but I was not paying attention because I might have spread out a little bit so that I could just edit on all of them. But, but for now, we're in spring. And there's a lot of work to do because we're going to build a sky ridge perhaps all the way from what is Times Square. Just take a second. Uh, this is a voxel model. There it is. Versus build. So this is an imported thing just like a JPEG. Except it's a 3D thing. Uh, voxel model. We go all the way around the seasons here and the skyboxes change and it really changes the vibe of the world and I flew around quite a bit trying to figure out which one of the vibes and I just I really love this feels like almost sunrise or sunset that reflection off the water and it gives really good vibes like that feels nice feels quite nice oh no so these are builds by James Alicardi, and we're going to collaborate on this sky bridge. 
So take it all the way at what is. Yeah, right here. And build it. Not exactly sure how it's going to go, but right now the thought is to have some sort of entrances either on the ground or people, you know, you got to know that you can fly in here. I built some staircases, not exactly sure, but this level with uh, some nice glass underneath and some nice uh, uses of the views. And I think building like little, I don't know, maybe I'll just try it right now. Building. Like, what would it be? Like a little skybox within a skybox almost. So, like, think about this. Let me try it again. Uh, I forget the sound effects back on, please. They help. My motivation. that sound feels good I'm, I'm glad that they have it in the game mm -hmm. and I don't know really what to call this I don't know what to call it a game I don't know what to call it um, a uh, a world a metaverse you know a piece of the, it's a piece of 3d internet sort of um, Minecraft that's less than free. I don't know. Uh, you can build in here for free. Um, there's free spaces, which are very, very cool that you can just create. Um, but it's also very, those are more isolated and you have kind of your, your own website. Yeah, it's like, oh, what's in there? That looks like a Rubik's cube. So, what if we just solved it? Santa Claus, you know, repelling. I'm <laughs> not sure. I don't know. <clears throat> you can see it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I think I would like to get, uh, get a tower going on all of the islands. Well, this is... That's what I got for you. Sky Bravo show construction code. This has been a test. And I love Geek Myth. There are lots of reminders here. Tom Tom, you can uh, subscribe or follow or um, I don't know what they say on Twitch. I'm, mm, oh my gosh. Hit the button. Hit the super button. I don't even know. But um, truly, if you want to find out how to get into this world, you go to nether yonder, nether yonder .com. Boom. I guess. I'll put in the chat. Nether yonder .com. Um, and then you click it is as it sounds. Press. Or go to longsouls.com and press play button to score JK and with the in here the world is big what no you do So, Nether Yonder, start off as, uh, okay. Nether 
think they're gonna start off as fresh restart. So I need to check the stream. No, I need to twitch. Oh, I wonder if it's frozen. It does seem super frozen. Well, I wonder how long it's been frozen. In any case, well, you're doing a great job. I wonder how long it's been frozen. In any case, well, you're doing a great job. I wonder how long it's been frozen. In any case, well, you're doing a great job. I wonder how long it's been frozen. Just in the sky, bro. Shit. Show, 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 show.